as people are trying to say that faith is not alone. It has to be faith plus some kind of work. You must have to do something. Faith alone is not enough. And what we're seeing is this growing divide between the law and, and the gospel. The gospel, which teaches one thing, and, and, and the law, which taught something very different. The law, which though it was good, though God created it and instituted it and, and, and developed it for our good, uh, that it came from Him, it's not going to pass away, His moral law. But His moral law was held up as an example of everything that you and I could never attain to. Have you ever um, had an experience like that, where you were held to a standard you felt you could never attain? Maybe an expectation from a boss or from a parent or from a coach? And they demand something of you, and you just say to yourself, I'm not humanly capable of achieving that. I can't get there. What that creates within somebody when it comes to their understanding of the gospel is that it creates a need to look to somebody else who has done that. And that's when we point your eyes to Christ. We uphold the law as being good and righteous, but unattainable. And so when you're desperately trying to figure out, then how do I attain it? We point our eyes to Christ who did it for us. He obeyed perfectly, and his obedience is given to us when we're saved. He is the one who accomplished it fully, and that accomplishment is granted to us when we are saved. He is the one who fulfilled the law completely and therefore lived the life that we could never live, and then as an innocent person, allowed himself to be sacrificed to pay the penalty for all who could never live up to that standard. So he lived the life he could never live. You died the death you could never die in order to grant you a salvation that you could never earn. It's the essence of the gospel. 